Yeah, we came out strong and gone, put them away early. Been working on like closing out games and stuff this year a lot. So um, we close out the game instead of just waiting on. How much? How much better is it just to open the season? Just going to put the rock down on the last year. You guys are on the road. How much more comfortable are you this year? We really, we want to play Troy again. <laughs> well, um, I get coaching. Um, he put him on schedule. Um, it, it, was, it felt good play at home. We had a little decent crowd. For everybody to get a look at us, see how we were going to be. What did you take from that exhibition game the other day? What, did, what are some things that you wanted to clean up before you start the real thing on Friday? Well, um, I need to start, but I'm, I'm still be shooting now, but um, I want to clean up my shot a little bit more. I ain't take that many shots that game, but um, so I, they really just gave me layups. But, um, there's a lot more stuff that I need to work on when I'm working on the prayer. How much better is it for you guys? Like last year, you had to learn a lot on the floor. You couldn't come over there and sit beside Coach Ray and have him show you what you did wrong. But this year, not so much with Gavin and him in the post, but you guys in the backcourt got some depth can play Trevante and IJ in the backcourt where if you need a breather or if you or Coach Ray just needs to show you what you're doing wrong. And obviously it's better because sometimes you look over there on the bench to see. You guys are able to do that this year. How much would that help instead of having to stay on the floor? Right? It helps us a lot. You know, we get to see like, what mistakes we're making and coach the show to us on the side, put it right back in. It, there's a lot of things changed since we uh, got more depth on the chart. How confident are you that you've improved you know, your, uh, your turnovers from last year? Even, you know, before you guys still got to play a team. It's yeah. not you guys, but you, you, you feel confident about getting better at that every day. Yeah, I, I do feel confident. I felt confident last year, but um, was that part of the problem? <laughs> you maybe were a little too confident. Yeah, I was a little too confident last year, and I was out of positions. I ain't playing my right position, but I, I really could play it this year if I wanted to. If Cole wanted me to, I could play it without turning the ball. Work with uh, considering that um, you know you can't hand check, you know. Uh, there's certain fouls you can't do inside of the post, and if you do, you get in foul trouble. So, you know, coach is just instilling that process in us. Like, you know, we have uh, defensive drills and offensive drills in the post. You know, he's instilling that. You know, uh, he'll be able to call the fouls just like the ref will call in the game. So, just for him to, you know, put that in practice, and we can uh, we can learn from that. So, when we go so when we go into the game, we won't have that same carryover foul. Has it been hard to adjust? To that? Oh uh, yes, sir. Because you know, when we, when me and uh, Falu, we're down there in the post. I mean, it's just nothing but just physical body just going at it. And you know, sometimes you get wrapped up in the physicalness, so uh, you just have to um, just have to work. With it. But you know, you can't because you got to be. Yes. Sir. So I mean, that, the fouling for me, you know, I have to, uh, you know, I have to stop. So I mean, just for coach, you know, instilling that in practice, you know, it's helped a lot. Rick said that he wanted, he really wanted to get more involved in what you were the other night offensively. You, I mean, you had a double double. What, what else did you need to do offensively? Oh, uh, just be sound defensively. You know, he, that's what he talked about, um, as well as you know, all the foul. He just wanted you just to be sound defensively. Offensively, uh, we get looks, we get good looks uh, inside and out. So you know, in result, you know, we get double doubles. Colin get, uh, he gets. You know, high score points, you know, everybody gets uh, an equilibrium of, you know, of the stats. So, I mean, just for us to be just sound defensively, you know, Coach said if you be sound and come back, they will turn the ball over. And I just believe 100% that, you know, that's true. How conscious, Gavin, do you have to be about playing defense without fouling? Because you don't have a backup in games and you can't get into foul trouble. And with these new rules, they're just not going to let you touch anybody. Oh, yes, I had to be very conscious because, uh, you know, with fouling, you know, like you said, there isn't anybody behind me. So, I mean, just, just, uh, just being aware that uh, I don't have a backup, just being aware that fouling can put me on the bench and it'll have to be two fours in. So, I just have to be aware that, that, uh, that you know, I, have, I, I can't foul you know, because of the new rules and I just have to be a uh, big presence for my team now. Compared last year and this year, in the opening game. I mean, a year ago, right now, you guys were going to Troy's New Arena as true freshmen playing your first college game. Now you get a whole season under your belt and you get to open up at home. How much different is that? I mean, it's got to be light years. I feel, I feel more comfortable. I don't feel as if it is a shock to me. Uh, last year, you know, it was Troy, you know, seeing 
you know, being in the, <laughs> at that arena, you know, getting that atmosphere, you know, crowds yelling at you and stuff, saying stuff. You know, that was kind of a big shock to me coming from like high school, Mississippi high school basketball. So you know, just uh, to play Division One, it's just it was just a big shock. But now I'm more comfortable. Because you know, I didn't already experience that from Georgia, Kentucky. I didn't already experience that. So just now, just going into, I'm more comfortable. You know, I'm not as uptight and you know excited. You know, more able to you know focus on what I have to focus on. So I believe it's just just a, just a comfort. This is all I'm much ready for year number two. I think it's going to be an outstanding year for us every team. Hey, Coach Ray complimented how hard you worked in the off season and stuff. Is it, is it just? Uh, a good feeling for you to finally get the season underway. You have as much work as you put in in the off season. Uh, yeah, I think it is because like, I uh, work pretty hard this summer to uh, get my body right and you know, gain weight. So I think it's gonna be great for us. How do you, how do you guys work on practice cutting out, cutting down turnovers? Uh, we how we work on it. Uh, we just go hard every day, like compete against each other, like. To make to make me try to turn the ball over, so that's how we are. Uh, how big of a difference did you see the other night in your game with your new strength and your weight at it? Uh, I really can't. I really can't say because this is just the first game. And, you know, it was an exhibition game, so I think on down the line, I think it'll be great. You will find out. There. Did RJ kind of show what kind of player he was in that exhibition game? He gets those first two points. He didn't look like he looked for a shot at all. It looked like he was trying to get everybody else involved the rest of the night. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's what type of player he is. Like, he really don't look to score like, but if he know he uh, got to, he'll take the risk of scoring. But, like, he uh, looked to uh, get us open and run the floor real hard. You, you said before that that makes kind of you and Chicken and Gavin kind of go to another level when you know you might get more judges and get more opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he really don't look to score. Like, he's trying to get us on the shots. Like, he, he's not like a selfish type player. So he, he's really looking for us to score the ball. Rick talked to him 10 minutes ago about how he thinks that you can be a great shooter in the league. The percentages there aren't, aren't there right now. I mean, how do you get those percentages back up? Uh, how do I get those percentages back up is being patient. That's like I work on that all day, every day, practice. Even in the game, last game, I did too. So, because I had, I turned a few shots down because like I knew I uh, probably wasn't gonna make them because I was tired. Does that does that just come from experience, knowing when it's a good shot or a bad shot? Uh, yeah, there's no. Yeah, I gotta know what's a good shot and what's a bad shot.